Listen, it's not my fault. First of all, why is I that rig cap? It, I have to go. I'm on my way to LA. Girl, I'm all packed up. I'm gonna go. Girl, let me put that on. It's so difficult to pack when you're going to a place that has drastically different weather. And by drastically, I mean by like at like 10 degrees. Phoenix is a good 105. LA is about 88. I did my hair last night, so it's a little stiff and it's still drying. So I'm not even going to like separate the hair, you know, make the shape look <laughs> nice. I just, I'm going to the bus. Oh, that's another thing. Girl, I'm taking the bus. Put these hoes on real quick. A seven hour bus over to LA because it's cheap. I can get work done on the bus and it just works out. I also am taking a self-driving car today. Huh? Girl, huh? This is cool. Okay. All right. Literally nobody driving the car, y'all. All right. Hello, from Waymo. Ah! Ah, I'm driving! Everybody clear the road! This is super cool. Girl, we are in the future. I wonder if you can play music. Can you play music? It's a super smooth ride so far. You just unlock the uh, car with your phone. There's a little button that says unlock. Ah, uh, oh, oh. ah. <laughs> Uh, oh no. Door handles like pop out. Tells you exactly when you're gonna be arriving. On this little screen back here, it shows you exactly what the car is seeing. So if there's a stoplight coming, it'll show you the stoplight. It is interesting driving like under the speed li limit. <laughs> Doing two miles an hour! <laughs> Like, homegirl is going 20 miles per hour. They've been testing these cars out in Phoenix for such a long time. I think it may have originated in Phoenix. I'm not certain, but I know it's a, a company owned by Google, which kind of makes sense because Google Maps, it knows the streets already. I've ran the street since I was young. Streets killed me. I'm not afraid or anything at all. I just want to get to my bus on time. It's at 8.05, and this says it's going to be dropping me off at 7.58. So let's let's see if that happens. Oh, I can recognize you people. That's cool. Ooh, ah, 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 <laughs> this is crazy. This would be really cool if you like just are somebody with social anxiety and you don't need to talk to people. You don't want to talk to people. You don't want to interact with people. You don't like people. <laughs> I wonder if you can like sit in the driver's seat, probably not, or sit in the passenger seat. If you have like four people, it, it would just make more space. Girl, what? Okay, now this thing is circling the building. Turn this off, turn it off, off. Shut up. The thing is circling, circling the building to find a place to pull over when it could have pulled over right there, it was just fine. And my bus is right there. Hopefully I get out immediately. <laughs> Girl, this is ridiculous. Okay, but for real, stop playing, I really gotta go. I have five minutes before my bus leaves me. Where are you going? Call the police. I'm about to press the urgent help button. Like, pull over right here. Okay, perfect. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Give me out. Thank you. This was nice and everything, but I gotta go. <laughs> Bye. 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 So I'm taking the next bus. It's the big green bus. I got seven hours, girl, seven hours on the bus. But what's nice about this bus is that one, it's like a nice bus, it's not as private as maybe a Greyhound. The seats on the Greyhound are like way up, which makes it feel a bit more intimate. They have bathroom, trash bags here for you, hardwood floors, which is kind of ridiculous, curtains for you to close. <laughs> Girl, if it's too bright and you're trying to go to sleep, which I'm going to go to sleep. Um, the seats recline pretty far. Um, there's USB chargers. I don't see full outlet chargers, which Greyhound does have that. Sweet little nap. Thank you, Flix bus girl. I don't know how far we're into the trip. This is the first stop. I think there's like three stops. I'm gonna go in here. 11 o'clock almost. I'm just gonna get some food, I guess. I need something to eat. Why is everything hot? Hot, 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 hot. It's hot. So greasy. What if they have a bathroom? <gasps> They do. Some of this candy I have not seen in years. These, these right here. Oh my God. These were it back in the day. Wow. I wish they had coconut water. Coconut water is like the best kind of hydration. What kind of sandwiches? They got a hot dog, Philly cheese steak, burger, chicken sandwich, sausage. I'm about to go try that. I don't think that's gonna sit well in my stomach. Just 
not funny. I'm here, I made it. I'm finished off of the Fix Bus. Okay. I don't know how my hair looks. I feel gross. I need to find food immediately. Hostel, uh, hostel part and a hotel part. I'm going to the hostel. That way, go that way, go that way. Girl, historic elevator. Uh -uh, girl. Mm -mm. <laughs> Max six people. I think he said I'm on the first floor. No. No, fifth floor. No. Yeah, I stayed in this hostel before, so it's it's pretty straightforward. Oh, girl, this thing's shaking and rattling and rumbling. Put y'all seatbelts on. This is it here. Girl. Girl! <laughs> it's a little bit later. I, I took a nap, took a shower. There was somebody in there sleeping, so I didn't want to like film and be all loud and rude. I just walked out of the hotel. Somebody on a scooter just got hit by a car. What? So scary. There's this girl on the corner filming it and she's like a little lit and turned up and she's like, I saw the whole thing. She has her phone out. <laughs> her phone out, she has like a mini skirt on. She's like, I saw the whole thing. It's a hit and run. She said, you better not go. You better not leave. To the man <laughs> who hit him. I was like, you better work, girl. But I did stay there just in case the man who got hit, he seemed fine. He literally got up immediately. He had a big like scooter. They go to the club off the scooters. I didn't see them like if they first scooter break down, they taking the scooter, throwing it over their shoulder. They riding out on the scooter. Like one of those scooters that you used to truly commute. Is this a Pilates situation? Is that what Pilates is? Um, chill. Anyway, so. That's scary. But yeah, I stayed there for a few seconds to make sure that he was able to like, at least walk away. Okay, so the night came, girl. It's time to do my nighttime routine. I'm pro hostile and I'll tell everybody that they need to do it at least once, but you can't do that unless you talk about the cons as well. And one of the cons is the fact that the bathroom is so tiny. If you book a hostel with an ensuite, typically hostels have like a communal situation where you go down the hallway and then you go take your shower and then you do your nighttime routine. But I like to book the ensuite, but because the bathroom is so tiny, the sink is tiny, the mirror is tiny, everything's tiny. So small, I don't like that. West V. And I can't spread my things out. I want my night cream, I want my lotion, like all out. There's issues with that. One, because you don't want other people using your stuff. And two, because there's literally no space. So you end up rumbling through your bag, which feels like you're making so much noise when there's like three people sleeping right outside the door. <laughs> Everything just feels like it's louder. But hey, you get through it and it's definitely worth not paying $300 a night for a hotel down the street. Anyway, this is the hostel. That's where I'm sleeping on the top bunk. There's four beds in this one. This ladder sucks. That's me giving a thumbs down. All in all though, super cute. It's a little shabby, it's old, but lots of character. Look at this lamp. This lamp is so sexy. This is not where I live. This is my This is where you live, huh? Let me see what's going on. Oh! Um, there's also lockers to store your stuff. You have to bring your own lock. However, there were locks on top of the lockers with keys attached to them. So I think people just leave their locks by an accident and then the hostel just courtesy leaves them above the lockers for you to use. There's some art and this big door that makes a lot of noise when you close it. There's another thumbs down. And this is the bathroom. This is a cute bathroom. I'm not gonna lie, the tile is really pretty. The light in here is a little gross. It's a little on the yellow side. You can't really see it on the camera. But here's the mirrors, the sink, and the space that I have to put my stuff out. Here's the shower. It's a two kind of step situation where you have a space to get undressed and a space to put your stuff. And then you have the actual shower. Keeps that separated and private, which is nice. Place to put your towels and clothes. And this is the bathroom, it's another separate thing. It's like a European style situation. Regular bathroom. What am I supposed to say? What am I supposed to say about this, girl? You, you can turn the lights up, cool, amazing. Next, next, next. Uh. Ah! He gonna get me. Ah! 
There's like a swarm of bugs at the door. Okay, today I want structure, I want order, girl. Smoothie, I have my medicine and my my like morning supplements and whatnot in my bag. I'm gonna just find something. Oh, maybe I can go here, is this easy? They don't look like they do smoothies. Paris baguette, this is a tourist trap. They got sandwiches and stuff. Pastries, that's cute. They have orange juice, how much is their orange juice? Three dollars. Organic milk, three dollars. No, thank you. Mm -mm. I say I'm looking for a smoothie, but I already know where, where it's at. Which way do I go, though? I think it's this way. Here, yeah, girl. We are here in LA. Ah. What kind of Batmobile? Just remember that there's a Whole Foods across the street. Ow. So I was about to walk like a whole, you know, half a mile, but there's a Whole Foods right here. So I'm just gonna go there and get a smoothie, drink it, and uh, then I'm gonna try to find like a free membership, a two-day membership to a gym somewhere, get my workouts in. And then tonight, I don't know if I told y'all, but I'm going to see Barbie. You a Barb, you giving me Barb vibes. It's a little contentious because I don't know. I was invited by Warner Brothers oh, <laughs> and YouTube, and I already signed up to go like before the strike, before the official strike date. And there's like contention about like influence posting stuff about struck like production companies i.e warner brothers and so i'm here and i'm like i want to see the movie but do i gotta post all about it i'm not trying to promote and post about the thing when the girls need money so that's a little stressful for me and they're like they sent me a little email today they were being like oh my god can't wait to see your shorts can't wait to see and they did not tell us that we were going to make shorts out of this or we needed to make content from it and i don't like that i don't like that i don't like that stuff that like switch and bake kind of stuff this is the whole thing what stuff look boarded up to me and closed down and shut down but i don't like the switch and bake be upfront about what y'all want from us as creators before you invite out to a whole event having us come all the way here and then like the day of the event be like can't wait till you see your shorts girl huh as well as huh as well as huh but listen all in all i'm gonna go see barbie tonight i usually would buy fruit and like yogurt and a whole bunch of stuff but they don't have a refrigerator in this particular hostel there's no like common area because it's a hostel and a hotel it's kind of hard to separate so i'm just here looking for a quick smoothie i wonder if they have like a smoothie bar smoothies have come like a long way it's gonna be grabs a protein and no lactose. Uh, yeah. Now I know where I can just grab a smoothie with no lactose in it. <laughs> Secured in like three minutes. That's cute. Yeah. Oh girl. I was gonna say, let's sit down there and just like <laughs> kiki for a second, but the tables look like they, they need a little clean. So clean it. Um, I didn't do it. So how about you clean it? No. Um, yeah, cause you dirty. Unfortunately at this hotel, you can't bring in like outside food, which is so ridiculous. <laughs> So, girl, I'm at EOS Gym. I'm gonna take a tour. There's like EOS Gyms in Phoenix, but I have not been in one. My apartment complex's gym is always something wrong. <laughs> it's either like too crowded, cause it's a small gym. It has all the equipment that I need, but it's a small gym. I'm looking in here though. Obviously this one is in LA. It's like pretty packed. So that's already kind of like a, but it's a commercial gym. So, you know, what am I, what can I expect here? It seems to be big, but I'm gonna take a tour so I can really see like what the T is. I'm just looking for like more equipment so that I can get more granular with like the muscles that I'm working out. My gym that I'm using now is not that regulated. For the past like two weeks, dead in the middle of summer, the freaking air conditioner has been like completely off. Bruh. It's been like a hundred degrees. The girls are complaining that they're getting nauseous. <laughs> like I was talking to one of the girls yesterday. She was like, oh yeah, I was like completely like nauseous yesterday. What? Girl, my underwear is <laughs> She was like, oh, the other day also a girl passed out. Huh? Passed out in the gym. Cause it's just too hot. People get like heat sick. See if this might be like an option. I don't want to spend extra money though. That's the only thing. If an EOS membership means that I can get access to gyms like across America, then I'll do it. I travel pretty often and I'm always looking for a gym. Girl, tell me why I just signed up for EOS. It's really not funny. <laughs> it's not funny. Stop laughing. Why would she do that? Cause it's not funny. I'm not coming over here no more. Cause I was pressured into it. And now I signed up for some some dang what? Well, I don't even use that gym. <laughs> got them. We fing got them. <laughs> and they're not even global yet. They're not even global. They have a lot of gyms in Phoenix and they have a lot of gyms on the West Coast in general, but they don't have gyms like on the East Coast, places that I travel to. If I were to get a gym membership, it would be a gym membership that would allow me to go to the gym globally without an issue. Something like a Crunch Fitness. Even Planet Fitness, girl, works if you like really. Oh. That's not in the sense that no. you know what I mean. Like, if you really get into it, but EOS, she not even out the hood yet. She gotta go global. Anyway, I was reading the fine print of the cancellation policy because I used to work at Planet Fitness. One of my first real jobs was working at Planet Fitness, signing people up, giving tours, stuff like that. And one thing about Planet Fitness, it's easier to get a divorce. It's easier to, to get a divorce, a messy one too, a messy one. Let the mess 
begin, honey. He want the kids and you want it too. Easier to negotiate that with a stubborn husband than to get out of Planet Fitness. You have to really go in person or you have to write a letter to go. It's like too much. With this, you can cancel over the phone or in person. And I read that you can just cancel within a few days and get all your money back. All of it. Only if you cancel in a few days, which is great because I'm coming right back here tomorrow. <laughs> I'm coming back in tomorrow and I'm going to cancel it after I use the gym. I'm gonna use the gym two times and then cancel it. <laughs> you know I had to double it. Either way, the girl that was giving me my tour, she was a key, like she was funny. I feel like if the girls weren't working all day, every day, we would be friends. I'm sorry, ma'am, our ice cream machine is down. Would you like to order in? I would have so many more friends. Although she did have a few questionable morals. We were talking, I was asking her like, what her favorite place in LA is. Like if she could live anywhere without cost being a factor. Which neighborhood would she choose? And she was like, oh, Silver Lake. And I was like, wow, she's like, because it's like clean. <laughs> I was like, yeah. She's like, there's no homeless people. Ah! Excuse me, what did you say? Ah! She's like, there's more rules. There's more rules against like homeless people. Ah, ah! Don't ever fix your lips to say that. Now, uh, uh. What do you call them? Homeless what? Um. People, these are human beings. Yes. They're not roaches. You just don't want to look at people who are homeless. You don't want to see the problem. Seeing homeless people is just the tip of the iceberg. Girl, you got to look at the whole thing. There's so many different issues going on at the same time. And if we saw it more often and we like started up conversation about it, we would find more solutions. Or we would at least have more hands on deck for the solutions that are already out there. And then we could begin to eradicate some of this mess. But it starts with the way that people think. And so whenever I hear somebody say something like that, I'm like, oh. They just don't know. Anyway, I'm walking back to my hostel. I'm gonna take a shower, eat, and then I'm back out for the day. Target. I'm in Target. I'm looking for literally any pink shirt. I found a few in the women's section. So I'm gonna literally try those on because I have this event in like two hours. I'm just looking for literally anything pink. Target has stepped up in a huge way. Let's say that, a huge way in terms of fashion. What do we have here? Not the Lizzo merch. Today's been a little weird. <laughs> Lots of weird things have been happening. One, there was a girl who came out of her job. She had like her, she was in a bakery. So she had like this baker's attire on. Very like costumey. But she had like a cup of water in her hand. She was trying to give it to this man who was unhoused, extending her arm out. And he was like, mm -mm. I don't want it anymore. <laughs> I was like, okay, but you gotta drink water. You know what I mean? It's hot out here. He was walking around with like a full pants, shirt, jacket, and his whole camp was with him. So I was like, hey, sir, you don't want this water? You should definitely hydrate. He kind of came around to it after I was like, I'll get you a burger. <laughs> I was like, I'll get you a burger too. So you can like have, have a burger and get your water in. Um, and so he took the water and he immediately started drinking it. He was thirsty. He was thirsty. That happened. And then I kind of got stuck talking to him for like, an hour. Damn. <laughs> I was just there talking with him. I got him a burger from Shake Shack. I was like, okay, now sir, I gotta go. I'm late now for the thing that I need to get to. And so uh, we broke, kind of broke that off. And he tried to like kind of upsell me, you know what I mean? He was like, mm, can you take me across the street to this liquor store? Not to get liquor, to help him check on some wire thing that his sister, I don't know, some story he had. I was like, girl, I gotta go, I'm so sorry. Okay, so I just checked out, but guess what I found? A little Barbie shirt. <laughs> This is so dumb. Am I even trying to do that? I feel like it's, it's too on the nose. Let's just get it anyway, just in case these other two, because they don't have a fitting room. The fitting room is closed. So I'm gonna take these home, <laughs> home to the ho hotel. If they don't fit, then I'm just gonna go with my all black outfit. <sighs> anyway, this is too much for my brain, so I'm just gonna leave. Excuse me, I'm out of here right now. And that's what I call self care. Four, four, going down. Y'all, when I got into this Uber, it was a really nice Uber. It was like a Mercedes truck. I was like, oh, this is nice. And I got in feeling very kind of energized by that. And so I was like very friendly to the girl who was driving me. It was a black girl with some braids in. And I was like, hey girl, hi. And she hit me like, like a brick with her energy. She was like, oh, stop. I don't mess with all that gay stuff. She saw that I was wearing this little pink shirt, tight leather pants, a little gloss on the lip, and a little switch in the hip. She said, let me put on some uh, gospel music. Huh? I felt so uncomfortable the entire ride. I've been in enough situations to know when the girls are judging me, especially the, the Christians. It's really the gospel song for me, like as if listening to it is gonna somehow, like very godmother changing my outfit and make me not gay. I am not gay. 
<laughs> Girl, please. Okay, she's here. She's queer. Okay. <laughs> she's at the Grove. Left it, left it. Um, it's giving, please get me into the freaking theater now because it's, I feel hyper visible because of what I'm wearing. Also, it's just hot. I think people are like, you're wearing that hoe. Okay, I know I'm supposed to meet somebody, somebody, somewhere. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, we got some, some girl with a YouTube bag. Cute. They gave us a little concession situation so we can get either a popcorn, a regular soda, or a 20 ounce bottle of water. And it's valid only today. So I'm gonna use that. Um, there's like a cute little photo app back there. The girls are fully dressed up like Barbie. Girl, I really feel like I could have just not dressed up. <laughs> like I really could have just came in all black. Like, I don't know why I was dressing so much. Girl, there's like, it's a private screening. But I got my water, <laughs> the bodyguards. There's bodyguards. <laughs> so funny. Oh my god, the girls are here. This is so cute. Not a sign seating. Sorry, can I get past this? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. Dude, everybody got Thanks. Them. Yeah. Okay, girl, we got good seats. Calling all barbs. Calling all barbs. Mmm, mmm. This movie is good. So we bring the bar filling up the booth. So cold, we just chilling out. There'll be no one. That, that one. <laughs> I'm finished. I'm out of the movie. Hi, this theater was really nice, bro. Now I'm at the Grove and I just want to get out of here. Like, it's too much going on. Like, I don't even want to do this. Um, I'm going home. <laughs> yeah, it's too much going on. A, a shoe just fell out of the sky. What? A shoe. Last time I was here, I was with my first ex. We walked over here and then we like got food. What the heck? Look at this Apple store. Huge. I'm hungry, but I also just kind of want to get on the train, go home, change, and enjoy the rest of my life. Y'all hoes is hungry. It's too dang on hot, girl. I'm in this hostel. The, the air conditioner is broke up. <laughs> Or rather, it just don't feel like it's working. So I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go downstairs and be like, "Can y'all fix this or move me to another room?" Because I'm not playing. I'm not playing with y'all today. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm tired because it's hot. I wanted to go to the Broad Museum, which is like a 19-minute walk. Too much for me right now. The mind that I have right now is like, "Girl, you are too tired to be in a museum, like walking around." So I'm just hanging out, borderline sweating, and I'm about to take a "It's too hot" nap because that's the only way my body temperature will go down. Um, the maintenance, not not the maintenance, but like the cleaning staff came in and they went to like check one of the beds because they have to like turn over beds every day because people are leaving and coming in and so they come in they check to make sure that like to make sure like the beds have been turned over so they come in periodically and i told one of the ladies like it's hot in here and i know she felt it because she was like i'm sweating exactly and and i told her i say ma'am it's hot in here and the air conditioning is not working i stood up on the chair girl and i put my hand up to the vent that's like on the ceiling over here and then i went back to the thermostat to check like what the setting was maybe somebody bumped it or whatever no it was on cool on and read that the temperature in here was 68 degrees which that's absolutely not correct somebody lied to her three people came in here and like put their hand up to the air conditioning and like they're like oh yeah it's not on <laughs> there's huge windows in here and the window or not they're not open now but they were open the maintenance guy like a maintenance guy came in here as soon as he came in he saw the windows open he was like well if the windows are open like then of course it's going to be hot in here and i'm like girl sir <laughs> please use critical thinking like we open the windows because it is hot in here and this thing is not working i hate when people like do that they try to like gaslight you girl i'm not making up that it's hot, hot in here I, I guess people are that dense and maybe they've come across people who are like that but to assume that somebody would complain that it's hot in here and not see the issue as like oh i just should close the window because it's hot outside. <laughs> like, I don't get that part. Somebody opened up the windows because it was hot in here and the air conditioner wasn't working. They're like immediately just like defensive. The air conditioner is working, it's working. I'm gonna put it on low and we're gonna close these windows and it's gonna get cooler in here is what they said. And then he closed the window. <laughs> he closed the windows and then he went over to the thermostat and- Hey clown. Yeah, clown. Cause it was already on low and there was nothing he could do. <laughs> And so he went back to the air conditioning to feel it on the ceiling. And he was like, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm going to call someone. Girl, I could have told you that I could have saved you a whole trip up here. <sighs> anyway, um, at this point, I'm like, give me my money back. <laughs>
It's not funny though. I'm laughing, I'm smiling, but it's not funny. So the air conditioning is fixed, thank God, girl. And I feel so much better. Literally, I get so tired just from heat. And so, uh, you know, once, once the temperature go up or down, down, we're gonna go down. I'm good to go. As soon as the temperature went down, I was like, great, I popped up out of bed. My friend is moving and she's packing up her entire apartment here in LA. So I'm just gonna go head over there to help her pack up. Cause I just know I've moved like four times in the past, I don't know, three years. And I've always done it myself. And so I know that homegirl is stressed out cause she's like packing up by herself. When you like start to uproot, you realize there's so many things that you have to like switch over. You have to get your, you have to make sure your mail is straight. It's just a lot of emotional and just like technical um, changeover. I'm uh, just gonna go help her fix that issue. Some new girls moved into the the hostel and they're actually a vibe. The girls there before were not not the girls. It was the it was two guys. The energy was like really odd and weird. Busy but like they would be pacing back and forth. I'm like please stand still. But the girls here now are like so chill. Can I pop in here real quick? Yeah I'm gonna get like a little gift for my friend. I'm gonna get her some cookies. I'm in this place called Paris Baguette. Coffee bun, vegan blueberry muffin. That's God. How cute. Yes, yes, yes. This whole time, I didn't even know this, but they have a gym. My hostel had a whole gym in the basement. Cardio, weight. Wow. Even a mirror. Wow. Huh? And water. Which I might need to give me some of this right in. They don't even, they don't advertise it at all. There's a lounge as well. Full last day. <laughs> it's my last day. I just learned about this. I was about to rate this hostel like pretty low. But now that I know that those exist, ultimately, was this a good vlog? No. no. I'm on the bus going home. Um, there's not much that I did here in LA. I came to see Barbie. I saw Barbie and, I, and I'm leaving. Um, I woke up super early. I met some girls in the hostel who are such a vibe. I got their Instagrams. We're gonna change Instagram. Whenever I go to Vancouver, we're gonna like hang out or they're at least gonna give me like recommendations if they're still there. Cause they don't necessarily like Vancouver, but they were like, go to Montreal. I've never been to Canada. So they were like giving me the whole scoop on it all. They're so cool. I would have liked extended my stay. And this is what I like about hostels is because you can find like-minded people so fast like people who are just like we want to see the world because we've seen the world mm. you know what i mean i want to see the world because we've seen the world we know how like crazy and messed up it can be so like let's just party Fiesta, salsa, quinceañera, baila, siente ritmo, ponte a Ven conmigo. <laughs> let's just have a, a ball i would have extended my stay if i had time and if i hadn't booked all of my transportation back home and all that stuff already to hang out with them because that's like the hostel way i'm well rested i went to bed pretty early which is nice helped my friend carol pack her apart her kitchen up which is always really nice it feels really good to go and help relieve your friends of the stress that moving causes i feel like my trip is like fulfilled in that kind of way but i didn't you know go to the museums i didn't try to what the hell? You right back up. Yeah, I didn't try to like uncover any new history of LA. Approaching first and I just kind of was here. And that's enough. Anyway, bye.